elementary school in Iran, we had to memorize and sing songs about the cruel American government. The country that on the media repeatedly got called the enemy. A country full of alcoholics, sexual addicts, with lonely people and cold hearts, empty from any moral value. Like many of my friends, I grew up watching a lot of movies from Europe and US, grew up listening to Western music, fell in love with Ginsberg and Hemingway and so many other Western poets and writers. So I managed to learn about the line between political exaggerations and less biased stories. A balance between intellectual points, criticizing, for example, some of the policies of US toward Iran, while separating that from American people, society, and the extreme perspectives. When I moved to Denver in 2007 to go to the University of Denver, I saw the other side of the story. The confused faces when I said it snowed every winter in Tehran and Iran, and sorry, in Tehran and many other cities. When I said there were more women at universities than men, when I showed pictures of my friends, videos from streets of Tehran, talked about Persian poem and literature, shared movies from Iranian cinema, etc. After six months of living in Denver, this daily role of being a cultural ambassador and trying to explain what Iran is and isn't started to get tiring, boring, and frustrating. Dialogue presented by Iris Art was the first project to replace this role. In 2008, an art community called Kana Collective and I co-founded Iris Art. We developed the concept, wrote a proposal, and gathered a team of artists in Denver. Then I invited Negina Tasabian, a Tehran-based artist, to form a team of artists in Iran to collaborate with us. In Iris Art, we asked two questions over and over. How could art become a bridge between countries of conflict and provide the opportunity of looking at each other as individuals and human beings? Could we use art as a way to understand one another's perspectives better, replace stereotypes with less generalized and more realistic images, and finally, respect the differences? Using dialogue as our theme, for one year, each of the 20 artists initiated a creative piece in different medium and mailed incomplete works back and forth through completion between Denver and Tehran. But because Iran and US don't have any official business relationships, we couldn't use the mailing system to use the artworks directly. So we had to mail them either to a friend in Turkey or to my friends and relatives traveling between U Iran and the United States. As an example, I've chosen one of these collaborative projects called Ours. This project was created by Josh Fishburne and Natalie Neguayan from the American team and was completed by Negin Ehtesabian from the Iranian team. The American team chose images and symbols from the American culture, simplified them into graphic icons, and asked contributors to participate in a drawing game. The Iranian artists chose images and symbols from Iranian cultures and asked participants in Iran to follow the same direction, follow our instructions, and again, participate in a drawing game. The images that these artists chose were the images that they viewed as reflective in some ways of their lives. Some acted as points of contrast with the lives that emerged in the other culture, and some acted as points of continuity. I believe in the process of collaboration, especially in intercultural collaborative projects, over the outcome of collaboration. After Iris Art, I started to realize that intercultural collaborative projects can become bridges between countries. They can start dialogue between 
artists, artists and their audience, the audience and the audience. But the awareness that I hope to bring in through an art project could not really be reached without the constant creation and curation of such projects. That's why I'm interested in continuing to build such art communities and also participate in them. Your Night, My Day is the second project, which is currently in progress, curated by Eden Unluato and I. This project is another collaboration between artists in Iran and US. In Your Night, My Day, our goal has gone further than just a dialogue between artists. We use Google Translator, a third-party artist in Turkey, and inspiration notes sent from artists of each country to the opposite country to concern the complicated nature of language and miscommunication. In other words, we're not only seeking to um, decipher and depict the nature of dysfunctional dialogue between countries, but we're also seeking to reveal a path to art that can may lead to a better understanding of one another's culture, especially between Iran and the United States. As an artist and an art activist, I'm at the very first steps of learning about collaborative art. While my individual work often include collaborations, I'm interested in dedicating some of my time and passion to connect the disconnected cultures of countries, especially countries of conflict. However, one voice can only go so far. I think we need more and more projects and voices with the same intention and responsibility to be able to make a change and bring awareness to our societies. I would like to invite you to take action and think, what else could this collaboration look like? How can you extend it? Thank you. <laughs>